We are well acquainted with the hardware that underlies the Bugatti La Voiture Noire. The power has not changed, but the suspension has been relaxed for a comfortable ride. It is their first use of perforated carbon fiber, and the intricate designs also serve as heat extractors for this black beast. Visibility is on par with other hypercars, and the mirrors are in a perfect spot. Even with six exhaust pipes, the team added more insulation to give the owner his money's worth. The sleek design incorporates headlights swept into the front fenders and plenty of room for cooling. A central spine from the hood to the tail recalls Bugatti's historic assembly process. The Bugatti La Voiture Noire body panels are carbon fiber and perfectly bookmatched at right angles. A one-piece taillight accentuates the curves of the quarter panels. The rear bumper is a thin strip that bisects the mesh filler panel. The notion that a coach-built car meets all modern crash and emissions laws is simply mind-boggling. Building a one-off car for a wealthy client can be incredibly difficult. Thankfully, the Bugatti La Voiture Noire specs are built upon a proven Bugatti chassis. Because this car is destined for a private collection, we might not see it run a quarter mile. Given the performance of similar models, we will estimate the Bugatti La Voiture Noire 0 to 60 time of under 3 seconds, with a low 9 second a quarter mile. If we were to think about internal combustion engines in a logical manner, more cylinders would mean more power. Bugatti resurrected the 16-cylinder in a few concepts, and they shocked the world when it entered production in 2001. To engine designers, there is nothing new under the sun. So they took inspiration from the Jetta VR6 and simply scaled it up. In general, the W16 engine is two VR8 engines. Essentially they added four cylinders to the W12 found in Bentley, Audi, as well as a few VW models. The Bugatti La Voiture Noire engine specs are slightly improved than the predecessor by the use of sequential turbochargers. Instead of having to awaken four equally sized turbos simultaneously, the Bugatti La Voiture Noire engine keeps two smaller turbines spinning and ready to make boost. Before the return of Bugatti, no transmission capable of holding such power had been conceived. So it took the Formula One Masters at Ricardo to build a new seven-speed dual-clutch gearbox. The dry sump system has multiple cooling circuits and it sends power to a multi-plate rear differential. The front end is controlled by a Haldex unit, similar to what Lamborghini and Audi use. With the Bugatti La Voiture Noire making 1,479 horsepower, Ricardo decided to demand the very best from their suppliers. Each component has been tested to destruction to ensure years of worry-free shifting. Regardless of your feelings about the dual-clutch transmission, it makes perfect sense in this application. The potency of the brand is clearly evident in the Bugatti La Voiture Noire. Stefan Winkelmann, president of Bugatti describes the Bugatti La Voiture Noire interior as the most comfortable car ever produced. It is a coupe that feels like a limousine. The symmetrical layout and ergonomic controls will prevent anxiety when cruising at 250 miles per hour. It took countless hours to combine inspiration from the past with the latest in safety and connectivity. Leather and machined metals are combined to create the perfect atmosphere for the owner. Nothing is left to chance, as the seats, pedals, and controls are measured and fitted to the owner.